you are welcome to this class and thank you for joining us if you are just joining us do well to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos now here we are finding the value of x and uh, let's start by writing this as x raised to power 8 then raised to power 3 from law of indices, this power multiplied, and we still have x raised to power 24. Then plus here as well, we can write it in form of x raised to power 8. Then raised to power 2. Here we still have raised to power 16 equals to 5 over 76. And from here, we have x raised to power 8, x raised to power 8. We can use a letter to represent that. So let x raised to power a be equal to u. Now from there, we can replace anywhere we see x raised to power a with u, so that the first this equation will become u raised to power three, then plus u squared, which will be equal to five or seventy six. And from here, we can use this to form an equation by bringing 576 to this side and it's become minus. So we have u raised to power 3 plus u squared and minus 576 is to be equal to 0. Now we can separate this minus 576 as so this will become u raised to power 3 plus u squared. Then we have minus 512 minus 64. So this will still give us minus 576. Then which will be equal to 0. Now here, we can express 512 as raised to power 3 in number raised to power 3. And also 64 as a number squared. So we now have u raised to power 3 plus u squared then minus it will be 8 raised to power 3 here yeah, then minus 8 squared which is equal to 0. So we can bring the power of 3 together and the square together and we have u raised to power 3 minus 8 raised to power 3 then we have plus also, we have u raised to power 2, then minus 8 raised to power 2 equals to 0. So, when we separate this, like we group it like this, this is our identity. The first identity here we have in the form of x raised to power 3 minus y raised to power 3. And this gives us x minus y multiplied by x squared plus xy plus y squared so this identity follow this and also we have difference of two square we have x square minus y square this gives us x plus y multiplied by x minus y so when we apply this to identity here so we can write what we have here again as so u that will be u minus 8 then multiply by x square here means u square then plus x y that's u times 8 that's 8 u then plus y square and that's a square that's plus a square there is 64 then plus applying difference of two square here that will be u plus 8 then multiply by u minus 8, which will give us 0. Now, from here, we can factor what is common. u minus 8, u minus 8 common. So when we bring it out, we have u minus 8. Then what we have left on this side is u squared plus 8u plus 64. And what is left here is u plus 8. So we have plus u plus 8. So the bracket, we might remove the bracket because we are dealing with positive sign. So equals to zero. Now from here, 
we can bring this together and we have u minus 8 now multiply by we have u square 8u plus u that's plus 9u then we have 64 plus 8 that gives us plus 72 which is equals to 0 now we have two possible cases here we have u minus 8 equals to 0 and also we have u square plus 9u plus 72 equals to 0 so from here we can say that u is equals to 8 when we take minus 8 there and let's solve for u from here and we can see whether we have a resolution or not here we have a to be equals to 1 and b is equals to 9 c is equals to 72 so let's test and see our discriminant that is b square minus 4 ac if this is less than 0 that will be an imaginary root there so therefore we won't have any resolution but if it's greater than 0 then we have resolution so from here we have b square that's 9 square minus 4 a then c 72 and when we simplify this we discover we have next square that's 81 minus 288 obviously this result will be less than zero therefore we don't have any real roots here so no resolution here then let's work with u equals to 8 from here don't forget that our u we represented u as x raised to power 8 so that means we have x raised to power 8 equals to 8 so we can take the 8 root on both sides so we have 8 root of x raised to power 8 equals to 8 root of 8 so therefore 8 can cancel 8 root and we have x left so this will be x equals to 8 root of 8 which you can also write as x equals to 8 raised to power 1 over 8 and this is the value of you know x and therefore we are come to the end of the solution we can also substitute this one into the equation given to confirm whether this satisfies the equation thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and see you in the next class. Bye for now.